So the first thing I'm going to show you is actually how do you do a stomata print and how do you use a light microscope to look at the stomata on the underside of a leaf. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a stomatal, we're going to look at stomata on a leaf. Okay, so as you can see, um, this, what would you call this top bit here? What do you notice about notice yeah it is shiny why is it shiny yeah so it's got a thick waxy cuticle all right so whenever you see a shiny uh, surface to the leaf so um, usually there are not many stomata if any on the top because you don't want evaporation of water coming out the top of the leaf. anyway uh, so what we're going to do is what we call stomatal print. So you're going to need a glass slide. Uh, you're going to need some sellotape. You're going to need uh, scissors. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a print of the underside of the leaf. So we're just going to take a piece of sellotape, cut it, place it on one of the nail varnish bits like that. And just press it down press it down so it's nice and firm okay and then lightly just take the sellotape off and you'll have your print there and you can place it on the slide like that and you can see it's an imprint of the lift okay and then you're going to place it under a microscope so at low magnification and then you're going to increase the magnification and I'd, what I'd like you to do is to see if you can find a group of stomata okay um, I'm going to set one up as well here so I can show you through the visualizer So let's have a look at how you answer some questions about working out the number of stomata on a leaf. So this is an exam question. It says the image below shows part of the surface of a leaf. So it says the length and the width of the leaf surface are both 0.1 millimeters. Then it says calculate the number of stomata per millimeter squared of this leaf surface. So they want you to work out the area of the of the square basically so first of all we need to count how many stomata so as you can see there's one and there's two stomata there okay the, we then need to work out the area well the area is 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 which gives us 0 0.01 millimeter squared but the the question does, does say the number of stomata per millimeter squared so the way that you do that is one millimeter divided by 0.01 so that gives us a hundred so two stomata times a hundred gives you 200 okay 
So this is another example. So they show a grid on a microscope. It says the student counted this tomato on the lower surface of a leaf. The diagram shows part of the grid that the student X saw under the microscope. So they show the area and they show stomata in the grid. It says complete the calculation to estimate the number of stomata per millimetre squared. So again, you count how many stomata. So in this case, there are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Um, area, so it's one divided by 25, which is 0 0.04 millimetres squared. So you need to work out, well, how many will that fit into one millimetre squared? Well, it's one divided by 0 0.04 gives you 25. So 8 stomata times 25 equals 200. There we go.